Hey, my beautiful swords, how y'all doing today? How are you doing today? I hope that you are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. I'm in a very good mood today. And like I said, if you hear noises, this creaking and stuff like that in my video, it's because of my neighbors. They wait, like I said, every time I get on this phone, this crap, 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 crap all over my head. But anyway, I came on here to talk about, and I know I said I was not going to say anything about it again, but I was watching this lady's video and she was talking about, it's this trans guy, he's a white guy, quote unquote, and he went to a guy in the colleges and he wanted, I guess the, uh, <laughs> You know, I know I'm wrong. I know I am wrong. God in heaven knows I don't have nothing against nobody. But when when I see stuff like this or I hear things like this, it kind of makes me laugh because I'm like, oh, dude, you don't have a cervix. You don't have a uterus. You don't have fallopian tubes. So, what makes you think that you need to have a pap smear? <laughs> but he's suing the gynecologist. Because he went there, he was like, well, I had made me an appointment. And he talks like a dude. I had made me an appointment to go and get me a pap smear done. Because I, I think somebody must tell him, you need to get a pap smear. And so he made an appointment, and then when the doctor was checking him out, he seen, you know, that he had been surgically, you know, altered. Because, see, the, the look, he, he's, he got that, his talent worker cut off, and he's got uh, a man-made talent worker. I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm not judging this person. He can be what he want to be. He can do what he want to do. <sighs> Let me get my breath. But he's mad at the doctor. He said that he's being discriminated against because the doctor told him, he was like, you don't need a pap smear. Number one, you don't have the cells down there you know, that, you know what I'm saying, that you can develop cervical cancer because you don't have a cervix. And for some reason in his mind, he don't get that. He thinks that, I guess he thought when they cut that off and they pushed it up in there or whatever they did to it, I don't know how they designed it. I guess he actually thought that his vagina is just like a woman. Only God can make that vagina to be, you know, and, you know, our vagina serves its purpose. It's just like um, they want to minister. You know, I said that in one of my videos. Let me get back to that. You know, they made me take down two of my videos. <laughs> so instead of me deleting it, what I did was I private it. Uh, but this is okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not monetized anyway. I think I I was going in. I, I wasn't really going in. It's just that I think some of the things I said, you know, bothered them once they really listened to what I was saying. And I think I was flagged. I don't know who flagged me yet. But uh, I think my videos was, <laughs> was flagged. But anyway, like I said, I don't come on here for hate because, you know, I love everybody. And, you know, I appreciate everybody that comes to me. But getting back to that, I don't know where it is, why. And I know that this person is not the only one who thinks that way. I know the other ones think that way, too. They, it's somewhere in their heads, they think because they had that removed, that that made them a female. 
No, it just made you a man with a split. That's what it made you. You know, it made you a man without your 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 uh your 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 pingling. See, I'm trying to cut down on the cuss words, okay? Hey, try, I'm I'm trying. I hey, I am trying, okay? But yeah, I'm like when I was listening to it, I'm like, so uh, you want to use tampons? Okay, I can get it about the pads because, you know, you got all that pus and blood coming out. You know what I'm saying? But if they stick those, what you call the force up, up in there, what it's going to do, it, it will damage the inside of what, you know, man made. And see what happened is he'll end up bleeding or getting an infection. And I don't guess he realized that. Now, if they don't throw that out of court of law, something is wrong with this country. And I truly believe that we have allowed too much going on in our in our in our land mass. You know, they, they said this was a Christian country. Okay. They call it a, I don't call it nothing Christian. When you have enslaved groups of people and murdered massive of Native Americans, I don't consider you as being a Christian. Now, you may have said that, you know, that you, you know, you're going to try to change and conform to your beliefs. But other than that right there, okay, that's a Christian nation. Um, but I just don't get it. I'm like... Okay, you want to have a period. You want to have um what's that? You want to have a baby. You want to be able to uh have your your uh your man-made vagina looked at. I don't know. I I just don't I don't get it. And I guess he's laying on a table actually thought when he spread his legs open that it's going to look like a woman's vagina. I don't know what it looked like because I, I don't want to see them. The only cootie cat, I, I done seen two cootie cats, my own and my baby girls when she was a baby. When she got seven years old, that was her cootie cat. I, I didn't look at it, just like my sons. When they got six, seven years old, that's on them, brother. That's on them. You better, I done showed you how to clean it, clean it. But, uh, but I, I just, I mean, I would hope y'all can give me some kind of feedback. You know, leave something in my comment section. What do you think about this? And when I, okay, I posted a, a video about them teaching the, the little kids, and their parents was out there with them. You know, about the little stories, about the turtle and all that right there. And Look, y'all. Take it from an old lady. Don't, excuse me, don't teach your children to be prejudiced, racist, homophobic, or anything like that. But teach your children morality, moral values. Teach them the difference between right and wrong. Now, when they grow up, you can't tell them who they want to be with. That's on them. But while they are kids, you are supposed to train up those children. You don't want your kids out here wilding out into the streets and let the streets get them. I don't know what parent in their right mind would, would really just want their kids to get out here in the streets, gang banging, hustling, and, you know, things like that. That's really, like I said, I made sure that I didn't have a lot, but I made sure my kids had what they needed at home and we would have our our time that we would read the word because i believe that we are supposed to train up our children while they are young it's not to force them it's to get them to understand you know there's rules and laws that we must follow in order to govern ourselves i don't care what no you know what i'm saying i don't care about what nobody else but see, like I said, we all got to live in this world together. We're all in the same land mass. 
So we got to know how to get along. I can get along with you as long as you don't try to come to my house and try to push your views up on me because that's not going to change. It ain't that I'm, 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 uh, it ain't that I'm mean. It ain't that I'm closed minded. It's just, I believe what I believe. And that's just it. Who, I mean, why are you going to try to change my brain? Work on yourself. Just like, like I said, I don't try to work on them. I don't care. I care less. And when I was giving, I was trying to say what I read in the word of God, you know, about reprobate mind and all that right there. That didn't come from me. It came from the word of God. If you believe God's word, then you're going to uh, take it and you're going to use it to your benefit. You know, you don't have to be I mean, I don't know what a person got to be. I just know what I got to be for myself. And I know that I am responsible for my children until they become adults. You know, when my boys, when they was little, they were boys until they reached the age of 21. When they became 21, they became men. I don't call my sons boys. They're men. And I never call none of my husbands boys. You know, because they're men. You know, you're a man. Pull up your pants. Gird up your loins, dude. Be a man. But yeah, I just been, that's been really messing with my head this morning because usually I don't let nothing really mess with me. But I was like, why do you want to see a gynecologist? You don't have a womb. You have an opening. That's what that's what they got. Now you might call it a pocketbook, but you ain't you ain't got a pocketbook. My pocketbook was fashioned by God. Your pocketbook was fashioned by man. So where's the real deal at? And like I said, I don't have no problem with them. And for some reason they think that women are jealous of them. Why would I be jealous of a man? And if a dude decide to want to be with you, then who can do do what you do? You know what I'm saying? My daughter was telling me that she hurt. Uh, her and one of her girlfriends had went out. They was trying to find this little club and stuff like that to go to. And they walked up into this club, but it was a, uh, it was a, uh, um, it was a uh, uh, gay club. And they was just in there having fun, you know, her and her girlfriend and stuff. And they just friends, you know, they not, they not homosexual or anything like that. But she said that she noticed that she was telling her friends, she said, I didn't know this was a gay club, and her friend was like, "Yeah, you know, we I come up in here, me and my, me and my my dude, and so we have fun." And so she said she was having, they was kicking it, but she said she noticed when they was leaving that they was being followed by three guys that was dressed up like girls. She said she didn't know if they had already had their body parts removed or what. She said, but they was like walking real fast behind them. I guess trying to intimidate them and scare them and so she said that her girlfriend which is a quote-unquote caucasian girl she turned around and she was like you know what you keep approaching us like that they're gonna find you in this alley and they was like uh, yeah you don't know she's talking about y'all don't need to come down here y'all need it. why so now you trying to tell you can come up to my club right right but you don't want nobody coming in your club because what it is, you think one of them, let me tell you something. From an old bird, I was going to call myself something else. Y'all know what I was going to say. From an old bird, any guy that is sitting in that club with you, you best believe I wouldn't want it. Period. I don't care how muscular he looks. I don't care how cute he is. 
because if he swings like that, I don't want to climb that tree. Period. <laughs> Period. You know. And that's the reason why I, you know, I, I've, I've never been the type of woman to um, put people down what they want to do. I've known girls who've dealt with, uh, with gay guys and stuff, you know, but that's their business. I just, I like manly men. I don't like boy, you know, I don't like, I, I just, I don't like feminine guys, you know, I just don't. I don't like him brutal and rough. He's not too rough. You know. I like two types. I like him classy. And I also like him a little, uh, you know, when I want to be a little ranchy, I like him a little thug. I do. I've always liked thug niggas. And I, li I like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, on them two sides right there, I like both, you know, as I was growing up. Uh, but I always liked a man that knew who he was and knew how to treat a woman. I couldn't deal with no guy that didn't know how to treat a woman. And um, that's where a lot of these young girls, you know, they've never had fathers in, a, in their home. I've had daddy, I had uncles and brothers and stuff like that. Like I said, most of the people, the uh, my family was, was men. So I know what it's like. I know it on both sides. Just like I know what it's like to be around gay men. <clears throat> if I added up all of my uncles and cousins, or just my uncles, I would say it was at least about 20 of them suckers. You see what I'm saying? So, and out of them 20, two of them was, was gay. But... You know, like I said, I don't. That's why I love gay people. Like I love lips. I, I'm crazy about lips. I I don't know his his. Uh, I talked to lips one time. I said it on one of my videos on on the phone, and my son had ran into him at a liquor store, and I got a picture of that, and I don't know if I should post it or not. I might put it on my community wall, but my son is not gay. But he's not homophobic either. You know what I'm saying? He's just like his mama. But if you ask me a question or something like that, I'm going to tell you. Like I said, I had gay girlfriends, you know, that, that was, they, they're my homies. And they knew I didn't swing like that. Even though they did, I didn't. I never even wanted to, I mean, I, it's nothing about a woman that I would want. Now I might look at a sister and say, Girl, your body banging. It don't mean I want to sleep with you. You know, I don't want my my breast rubbing them against no woman's breast. I like men. So, um, no, you ain't got nothing to offer me. You know, we can just be friends. You know what I'm saying? We can be tight like that. You know, I look at you as my, 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 my little sister, my big sister, or my bro. You know what I'm saying? I can bump this too, you know, but, uh, but you know, I don't have nothing against nobody, but I just, it just, it it was just messing with my head. It just like when they were saying that they want to have a period and I'm like, why would you want to have a period? I mean, Why? Real women don't really want to have periods, but that's something we got to deal with. That's a part of being a female. And like I said, some females don't have periods, just like some female cannot have children. But does, does that make them less a woman? No, it doesn't. They still women. But, um, but yeah, I am, I am confused, y'all. I'm confused. I am really confused. I don't know what to think. But I do know that you have to teach your children, you know, the truth. You got to give them, you know, the truth. It's just like I was telling people, you know, I don't celebrate none of these um, 
these holidays. I don't celebrate none of those. You know, when my kids were small, you know, I would give them Christmas toys and birthday gifts. I still give them a birthday gift because, you know, of their birth. But, you know, if I had money, I instead of me just waiting for one day out of a year to give my child a gift, I would give my child a gift on different occasions. It didn't have nothing to do about traditions. Because to be honest with you, I don't know what the, 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 the traditions is of of people of my hue. I don't know what we, I, I'm, I, I feel funny celebrating their traditions. Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't celebrate that. I will cook on that day, but it's not a celebration of me. It's not a traditional thing because I know what Thanksgiving stood for. You know, they massacred thousands of Native Americans. I don't celebrate that. I'm not gonna celebrate the, the murder of these people. It's just like it took me a long time to when I was a kid, because my granddad and the uncles and used to love cowboy movies. I had one uncle that worked the railroads. He was a cook on the railroads. And uh, he would tell us about, because I think it was like in the early 20s. And he would tell us about, you know, different things and um, how the railroad system was set up. Because you had a lot of Asian people that was here too, you know, between California, you know, through all, you know, when they was, when they was building the railroads. But... Um, but you know, I don't like I said, I don't celebrate I don't celebrate um Easter. I don't celebrate none of those holidays. I don't celebrate none of those things, you know. I I represent Yeshua in my own way. You know, that's that's who I, you know what I'm saying, in my in my way. I, cause see, if you look at Christmas, when we was kids, when I was a child, Christmas wasn't so much about all of this money and, and you know, you got to buy this, you got to buy that for your kids. It was about, you know, families getting together, families eating. It wasn't about always about gift giving. And my family used to always give us things over the seasons, over the years. And like I said, I don't know anything about our tradition. You know, we can say Kwanzaa. I don't know if that's an, uh, an American culture, black culture thing, or where it came from. It could came from Africa. I don't know. As much as I have read up on different tribes of Africa, you know, a lot of them celebrate the same traditions they celebrate over here. But my thing is right here, you know, it's because we've been, we all been colonized, you know what I'm saying? And we've all been, shit, we've all took the bait. We've all, you know what I'm saying? We've all been bamboozled, you know? And now it's all about money, economics and stuff like that. So it's not Chris, it's not Christmas anymore. And, you know, but I can't tell nobody else how to celebrate. It was just like churches. My granddaddy, on my daddy's side, he was a preacher. He was a Baptist minister. He had, he built his own church. I had an uncle like that too. Built his own church. They built their church from the ground up. And it was most of the male members that was a part of that church that helped build the church. Just like when they first built Meharry Hospital. That was a black-owned hospital. Now, it's, now it belongs to the city. Because the black people now didn't know how to handle the funds like they were supposed to and keep it as a predominantly black hospital. You can serve the public. But they lost the funds, you know, so the city picked it up, just like with TSU. I mean, we had a lot of, like, we got Fisk University. Now, Fisk, you know, used to be predominantly black college. It was built for our people. But now everybody and their mammy go there. And just like TSU, everybody and their mammy go there, everybody. 
So now it's not a predominantly black college anymore. But, you know, they had people, presidents and all that shit, these board members. They, they, they was greedy. See, they became greedy. And so they're disenfranchised their own people. That was, you know, they didn't have that income level. And, uh, but, uh, but like I said, I know sometimes I get on here and I'm hood. And that's only because, you know, that was a learned behavior. And uh, not from my home because I grew up in a middle class home. But, you know, being out here, hanging with my friends on the streets and, you know, pollying around, polyfoxing around. I have been around some everything. I have been around pimps, hoes. I have been around drug dealers. I have been around women that, you know what I'm saying, that let, let dudes use them. Five, six, ten, eleven, twelve kids by twelve different niggas. You know, I have been around it all. You know, I have been around different ones, you know, that didn't even speak my language. But did, we, did that stop us from kicking it? No, it didn't. We still kicked it with each other. Um, been around a lot of Caucasians. Been around, well, you know, a lot of shit, middle class and high class people. Like I said, I could be around anybody. I can function anywhere. But, um, but you got to be able to do that in order to move around in society. But even though I can move around that way, I still know who I am as a person. Do I let you make me feel like this? I, I think not. It's not in my bloodline. It's just not in my DNA. You know, and that's the reason why when I talk about certain people that I do know that I have met in my life that I've been around. And, you know, the, these people, some of these folks are very rich. But did that change me? Hell no. Did that make me gravel, gravitate, you know, or worship them? I don't worship people. I worship God. That's it. That's, I mean, I worship Elohim. That's who I worship. Yeshua, his son. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, just like I was saying about the churches, you know. Um, you know, I'm not going to try to force anybody to my beliefs. And I, ne I found a home church, which I really felt comfortable in. But then I kind of, I think I fell, I fell off when I backslid. And it's not their fault. Because I wasn't going there for them. I was going there because I believe that's where God wanted me to be. And I had started doing, uh, and that's because somebody told me to do it. They wanted me to be, uh, to work in the evangelistic field. But I had joined uh, a Pentecostal church, apostolic. And that's what I was. I, I, got, I got baptized in the name of Jesus. Uh, Cause they wasn't saying you sure. Um, filled with the Holy Ghost, you know, and I backslid on some things, you know. I'm not gonna bring to this channel, but uh, maybe one day I might. You know, if you know what I've been through, you know, been through a lot. But I haven't let that, you know, keep me down. I, I try to build a bone, whatever it is that I'm lacking. See, you know, God gives us that tool. If you wallow in the mud, you're going to stay in the mud. But first of all, you got to have a change of mindset. You got to stop thinking of yourself as being the way you were. You got to think of yourself up, up, baby, not down. People will put you down. People will put you in a box. The reason why I said when I was talking about the transgender, I'm not trying to put them in no box. That's their life. That's their life. It has nothing to do with me. As long as they don't bring it into my house. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they couldn't come to my home. 
What I'm saying is my house, my brain, I don't want nobody to try to persuade me or convince me that their way is the right way when I know what I read in, in the word of God, your way is not the way. Don't blame me. Blame the ones who, who uh, wrote the word. It ain't got nothing to do with me. But because I didn't write the word, you think I'm not going to believe in it? I believe in it because I choose to believe in it. Even though I've never seen God with my eyes, I've seen his glory. I've seen God's glory in my life. I've seen what he brought me through. And I know no man in this world could have brought me through what he brought me through in my life. You know, I had some family members that was Muslims. You know what I'm saying? But I read the Quran just like I read the, you know, King James Version of the Bible. I don't like the newer Bibles. You know, I, I just don't get no, I don't get no, I don't get no feeling from it. And my, you know, to me, King James, it's, it's like it's alive, the words. It comes alive, just like poetry come alive to me. Just like, that's what I told you, I said, I'm, I'm an avid reader. I have two books over here, and it's William Shakespeare. And it's got all of his writings in it. Let me see if I can go over here so I can show y'all these books. Y'all got to excuse my dirty room. My room is dirty. And I also have uh, Edgar Allan Poe. I read all these things. This is not nothing I just bought. These are things that I read. See? That's one. That's volume one. And then I have um, volume two. Can y'all see that? And and I have this. It's kind of tore up. You see how old it is? I show you I've been reading it. See? Book of Philosophy. My whole style of living may not be like everybody else. And this book right here is so old, it's crazy. This is the teaching. See, look how old it is. Let's show you. I've been reading the heck out of it. It's Edgar Allan Poe. And I listen to stuff like this, like Billie Holiday. Uh, some of my books I got put up, so I don't know. I This is my boy right here. <laughs> <laughs> and I do paint. I just haven't painted lately. See, I paint. These are my canvases. Oh, what else do I do? I do a lot of things, y'all. Let me go back. You know, I believe in a holistic healing. Excuse me, y'all. And I used to do hair a long time ago, but then I stopped. Because, you know, my mother was a beautician. And um, she was a beautician. And I was going to become one. But I have this real strange, I don't know what it is about me. I'm like, do I want to be a beautician? Because I've seen how those chemicals made her sick. And so I decided not to um, do hair. But I would do people's hair, you know, like on the side, you know. I would do the hair. I put braids in it. Uh, give them jerry curls because they wanted to curl. Um, just braids, period. Well, these people... I'm sorry, I'm not, somebody's calling my phone, but I got to cut down so, you know, it won't ring. But yeah, I'm into a lot of different things. You know, a lot of things interest me. And uh, I've always had a broad sense of things. Um, I was reading this book, uh, 
Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And it talks about finance, you know, finance and money, you know, how to work uh smart, not work hard. And if you if you follow the rules, you know, that it's in that book, the guidelines, you will be able to work, but you'll be able to make that money work for you. I don't care what kind of job. I mean, you could be working in a hotel cleaning rooms. And, you know, you could become very successful. You know, when people say, oh, you, you, you clean rooms. Don't you know, I've known people that have clean, started off cleaning rooms. Then they end up uh, leaving those jobs and uh, using that money they got back from their income tax and starting their own businesses, you know, have wash windows, clean out uh, office buildings. And that money was their money because they was working for themselves. They, of course, they was working for other people, you know, people's paying them. And then when they got to the point that they can get a contract with these people, you know, they started, you know, making their money like that. I've known people mainly buy homes and cars and just what up, take care of their kids, you know, like that. I've known people to buy those little shack houses, you know. Um, those are one bedrooms or two bedrooms, and they'd be all tore down. If you got the gift to know how to repair things, you can buy homes like that for less than uh, $10,000. It depends on where it is. And sometimes the bank don't want the house, in, you know, don't want it. And so they'll sell it to you less than nothing. And here in Tennessee, we have a lot of auctions, you know. That's how a lot of black people have lost their properties here because, you know, they went through and ramshacked through North Nashville. And they've taken a lot of these old people's homes that they worked for. You know, these wealthy or middle-class white people have went in there and just took their homes. But I don't know if it's North Carolina, wherever the gull of people are, I don't know if it's North or South but they are trying to move those people out, out of their land. They're trying to take their shit, you know? And they're going to do the same thing to uh, over there in Maui. You know, they see they got that. That's a big, that's a big land mass. And see, if, if people, especially black people that's got money or anybody, if you smart, you would go, if I had the money and I was young enough, I would go to Detroit and I would buy up as much property as I could because the, Detroit is almost like a ghost town in certain areas. You know, those people need grocery stores and stuff like that. You know, I have a business mindset. I always have had it. But, uh, you know, in my younger years, I did a lot of, you know, work and, um, uh, like I said, you got to work smart. You don't have to work hard. But, you know, since I've been sick for the last couple of years, I've lost out on a whole lot of things. And so I ended up in an apartment. And so, but I mean, it's a huge apartment that I live in. But I'm trying to get up out of here. I'm going to move as soon as I can. Uh, Y'all excuse me, my eyes itching. But yeah, um, but yeah, leave in the comment section what you think about that, about the transgender. You know, do you, do you think that he, that he should be able to sue the gynecologist? You know, he said he's discriminating against him because he wants to get a pap smear. And I'm like, you would sue him regardless. Like I said, just like when they let him in the churches. They'll trick those pastors. You got some pastors in them churches, man, that are undercover brothers. And, you know, and they do things they don't think they're going to get caught. But they get caught. And a lot of those, uh, not just not just the, the gay people, you got just scandalous women out here that will prey on these deacons and these pastors. You know, they'll prey on them. You know, because they want, they, they, number one, they want them to backslide. And number two, if you don't give me what I want, then I'm going to tell it. 
I'm going to be recording everything that you do so I can tell. That's that's what it is. And, you know, I used to tell the people <laughs> in my church certain things. I would talk, me and my pastor and his wife, we would talk. And I'm like, yeah, pastor, you ain't been saved all your life. You know, you say you was a, a man, you know, you used to be in the world. I'm just talking to you, you know, straight up. You got to be careful who you allow in your surroundings. You got to be careful who you allow around your wife and around your husband and your kids. Because you got some wolves out here, baby, that's, that is ready to eat. They ready to eat all the time. And then you got these brothers. Oh, I wouldn't sleep with her. I wouldn't have her. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. He is looking, you know, a place to stick that, that thing at. He don't care if it's male or female. Now, if he's heterosexual, I mean, really heterosexual, you know, he's not, you know, he wants a woman. He don't want no man. He don't even want no trans man. He don't want no gay man. Now, like I said, I had two uncles that was gay, and they 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 let us know. They let us girls know, you know. They let us know what type of brothers look out for. <laughs> they let us know. Just because he looked like he, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you got some brothers that can fool you, baby. I mean, they could be bisexual. But they 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 like that 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 patootie back there, and um, you know what I'm saying. You got one like that 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 thing in the back. When he do that thing in the front, you you better look at him like what? Oh, mm. that back there don't get like that down now. So uh. What's your problem? <laughs> Y'all, I bought me this little, it's, it's it's got little rocks in it. Something like a little incense, but it, it smells like cinnamon. You see the little rocks down there? It smells good. It really does. So I'm finna ready to get off of here. I'm, I'm gonna stay until like 50, 50 something minutes. And then I'm gonna crash land. Finna go in there and try to find me something that I want a salad. I think I got lettuce and stuff in there. I could boil my egg. Uh, I said I was gonna cook at ham, but I haven't cooked it yet. Yesterday, I don't think I ate nothing but like two, uh, two uh, scrambled eggs. I ate that, and I ate two slices of wheat bread, because I like to re the wheat bread with the little seeds in it. Uh, but no, I just really haven't really, I really haven't been hungry. I think I'm just lazy. I don't know. I, I get into reading my book, and like I said, I've been using my magnifying glass, because these glasses are not strong enough. And this belonged to one of my uncles. And it's all rickety. But I can see in it. You know, I can see how to read with it. But I'm going to try to make... Maybe I, I was going to make me an appointment yesterday, but I didn't. I got sidetracked. So, but yeah, just let me know what y'all think about that. Because I'm I'm really confused. I don't understand the mindset of, um, and maybe I shouldn't try to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't none of my business. It's just that I came across this lady's channel, and she was talking about it, and I'm like, that's weird. Why would he want, why did he think that he needs a pap smear? You don't have a cervix. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to do some research. And because, you know, usually I don't care about stuff like that. But I, this got me curious. Anything I get really curious about, I'll research it. You know, because. Mm -mm. 
But you know, I got grandkids. I got little small grandkids. And I got some that's teenagers. Do you think that I will take my little grandsons and let them sit around these group of men that got on women's dresses with a full beard on their face and mustache? Number one, it'll scare the hell out of my grandkids. They'll be afraid of that. Because they, you know, in their little minds, I mean, just like when they little, they don't know if they boy or girl. They don't know what they are. You know, they don't, they're not thinking about sex like that. Only a person with a, with a messed up mind thinks that way. You know, your mind, you, you, you screwed up. You want to teach our children about sex. I think it's in California. They said that your kids have a right without even letting the parents know if they want to get their gender change. And if the parents don't agree with it, they'll take your children from you. And uh, I seen that today. It was on one of the, the, on YouTube. And I was watching it. And I'm like, wow, you know, that, that's, that's extreme. So how are you going to protect your kids from the government? How are you going to protect your kids from the school system that, you know, you put a, a set of moral values in them, and then they strip it away, just like they did prior in schools. You know, I was watching the first, they was talking about the Barbie and I, you know, my, I don't have a little girl uh, grandbabies, you know, that's real small. My girls are teenagers. And I don't know if they mama took them to see Barbie or not. But they said when it first starts out, the little girls are sitting around, like on the ground. They got little dolls, baby dolls. And then they start smashing the dolls' heads. And taking a dollar and then throwing the doll up in the air, you know, I guess killing the baby dolls. And then you see Barbie standing up there like she's some kind of god or goddess. Something is wrong with that picture. I don't know what kind of message they're trying to uh, put out here for children. And y'all, please watch what your kids are watching. Some of these cartoons, these children does not need to watch. They don't need to watch it. I'm sorry. Call me old school or whatever. Say I'm not in with the times. You know, but um, I don't know. But say, you know, like I said, that's your walk with God. I got my walk. So I'm not on here to try to make nobody feel bad. I just said, please watch your kids. Your grandkids. Teach them what you want to teach them at home. School is for, for schoolwork. When they get home, that's when you teach them their morality. You know, teach them, you know, the, the, the things that you believe in. Not to try to make them believe what you believe in. Just give them an open, you know, say open a door. Because the world is opening a door for them. The world is feeding your kids stuff that will damage them for the rest of their lives. And then they tell them, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Today, today, it's okay. Whatever you want to do. As long as you can have whatever you like. So I'm telling you now, watch your babies. You know, I know this little word is my my commentary is a little long, and I may have been off track a little bit. I don't know because I haven't eaten anything. I said I haven't eaten since yesterday, early yesterday, but I think I'm gonna order me get me some tuna fish. They're gonna give me a big old bowl of tuna fish because I like tuna with crackers, and um, that's what I think I'm gonna buy. Finna buy me some tuna fish. So, y'all babies, I hope y'all be good and, you know, keep that shield up, be vigilant, 
you know, put, keep on that whole arm of God and, you know, and let, and let Yeshua lead you, you know, because it's through him that we live and we breathe. And, you know, just don't be straight away with every wind and doctrine. Don't allow yourself to be pulled away from the true word of God. You know, like I said, it's a right way and it's a wrong way. Jesus is the, as y'all said, Jesus is the only way, okay? And I say Yeshua, which is the same name, but it's in, a, in Hebrew instead of English. You know, just allow him to work in your life. You don't go to church for the people. You go there to, you know what I'm saying, to mingle and to come up with ideas in order to branch out and to help people. Not You're not there to criticize each other and to judge people. You know, you're there to bring people in. And it's all the time it's not going to be a bed of roses either. You know, but he said, you know, come as you are. And when you come as you are, he do the cleaning up. He will convict your heart. And if your heart is not convicted, then you're not convicted. Because you don't have no condemnation. And don't let nobody make you feel bad, of, you know, about who you are. If you don't feel bad about yourself, you don't let nobody else make you feel bad about yourself. That's all I got to say, loved ones. I love you all with the love of the Lord, and I will see you swords later, okay? Bye. But don't forget to leave in the comment section. Get, leave me some, get me some. Y'all don't give me no feedback. What's going on? Are you scared to talk on my channel or something? Hmm? Who done scared you, baby? Don't be afraid to speak out. You know? But like, subscribe, and comment, and give me a thumbs up. And the ones, man, to be checking me out and not even pressing that 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 that, that like button and and subscribing to my channel. What 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 what? You trying to hinder me? You trying to keep me back? You don't want me to move forward? Is that what it is? Then there's something in your heart. Something in your heart that you need to ask God to help you with. Because if you can't subscribe to me, and I'm trying my best to give you the best that I got, it may not be much, but you see, I'm trying to get somewhere. You see what I'm saying? And when I say about, uh, I've never seen the God say, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. I am not the type of person to mess with anybody else's, uh, you know, that's, the, the, that's, that's their hustle. I don't have a hustle. My thing is, is that I want to make it based upon my merit. And if my words are not of value to you, then I can understand that you, you know what I'm saying, you click off. But if it, if it's of any value, if you get anything out of it, subscribe to my channel. Show me that I have value. Which even if you don't, I still know I have. <laughs> I still know I have value. So with that being said, Swords, stay strong. I will talk to you later. Bye.